Bovard Studio Stained Glass has been designing, fabricating, and installing stained glass windows, framing systems, and glazing systems since 1985. The first step is to work with our client to create a rendering for the design for the finished stained glass window. Our pre-production team drafts a pattern for the fabrication of the stained glass window, then selects the appropriate sheets of handcrafted or mouth-blown stained glass for the fabrication of the stained glass window. Sheets of stained glass are then cut into size and shape to make up the individual panes. After the glass has been cut and shaped into the various component pieces, the artist applies the paint using traditional glass stains, matte blending colors, and or enamels. Most glass stains are made from metal oxides. The artist mixes the glass paints in mediums such as water, alcohol, or oil, and may additionally include a binder, glass frit, and or paint flux depending on the formula for that particular stain. When painting a figurative piece, the first layer of paint consists of the tracing lines, usually black, applied with a sable tracing brush. After the tracing lines have been applied, the glass is then fired in a kiln to permanently bond the paint to the surface of the glass. The next paint layer is called a mat or matting that requires a special blending brush handmade from English badger hair. This light brownish matte paint is applied as a fine layer then blended with the badger brush to make it uniform and semi-transparent. Once air dried, this matte layer will be carefully brushed away, called lightning, by the artist to expose the areas that are to remain transparent. This stage of glass painting is the opposite of most painting practices. In this instance, the image is formed by lifting the paint off the matted surface of the glass. This matting process may be repeated a number of times, layering more mats over the first to create artistic depth and differentiation. The stained glass windows are assembled with strips of lead cane to be soldered together. Once assembly is complete, glazing cement is packed between the flanges of the lead cane and the stained glass panes. This fixes the panes of the stained glass into the lead cane which strengthens and waterproofs the stained glass window. Steel reinforcing bars are then added to the stained glass window to hold it in a flat, upright plane when it is installed into the window frame. Bovard Studios frames hold a U.S. patent for their venting system that meets the National Preservation Guidelines to conserve stained glass windows. We fabricate the frames in our own studio's wood and metal shop. Our highly skilled craftspeople install the frames and stained glass windows. This all builds up to the glorious dedication service for St. Mary's New Church with their new stained glass heritage designed and engineered to last many generations of worshipers.